Good morning, good afternoon everyone. Thank you again for joining us uh, for our fourth Facebook Live episode from the Manitoba Advocate. Um, thank you again for joining. We um, appreciate you showing up every week. Uh, my name is Kathy Cook. My role here is the Youth Engagement Coordinator. Uh, today our show will consist of the three of us again, myself, Cheryl Alexander, our Knowledge Keeper, and John Skripnik, our, my fellow Youth Engagement Coordinator. Um, our roles as Youth Engagement Coordinators here at the Manitoba Advocate are to um, take the voices of young people and make sure that, um, that your voice is heard and that you're informing all of the work of our office. Uh, today we'll be focusing on right number 29, which is your education should develop your talents, respect your identity, language and values. Cheryl will be doing our weekly teaching. Uh, she'll be doing clan teachings today on the uh, Eagle Clan teaching and the Thunderbird Clan teaching. Um, and John will be doing some oversight on our youth engagement, or sorry, youth ambassador advisory squad, our online uh, listening tour. Um, and some other fun stuff. So without further ado, I will introduce Cheryl Alexander to you, our Knowledge Keeper. Good morning. Bonjour. Can you all be Krishna Cosmo Day on the morning? Send me which. For this beautiful day. First off, I'd like to say that uh, the Manitoba Advocate for Children and Youth wish to acknowledge that we are located on the original lands of the Anishinaabe, Cree, Oji Cree, Dakota, and Dene peoples, and the beautiful homeland of the Métis Nation. And I'd just like to introduce myself again, episode four this week. My name is John Skripnik. I'm part of the youth engagement team here at Manitoba Battery for Children and Youth. Um, I have the fortunate ability to work with our Youth Ambassador Advisory Squad. This is our YAS logo up in the corner here. And uh, there are some very, very brilliant youth that we work with across the province. And we are lucky. I get the best job. I get to work with youth across the province. And uh, here's some pretty astounding, pretty bright ideas coming from them, which is, again, the point of what we're doing. I want to share with everybody the Youth Online Survey. Um, this is something that we've uh, been creating as part of a way for us to hear what youth have to say across the province. So the link is right up here. If you could take a look, it's www.surveymonkey.com slash r slash youth listening tour. And basically, the, it'll take you about five to ten minutes. It'd be great if you guys could fill it out. Anybody from across Manitoba, all the youth, we need to hear your voice. We want to hear what kind of struggles you guys are having in your own home communities. And the best part is we want you guys to solve that. We want to hear how you guys would solve these problems. Because at the end of the day, us adults, we try and do our best. We think we know what we can do, but we really need to hear from you. And uh, I think it's the youth that are going to empower us to be able to help you create those changes and help those uh, create those improvements for youth across the province. So I'm going to hand it back to uh, Cheryl Alexander. I'm going to say a prayer this morning in my language that I'm learning, so please be patient with me. Gize Manatu Ga Nigana Nizian Bojo Miguich Gizian Nawen Mizian. Gabosaman sen na migi megu nombo. Jiga no wendaman miziang gai. Nichi bameta ziwin nagi gakina. Gibata giba gosin win migo. Jimanan wendamanan. Wewene aki. And they am. Gai and those zi tu yang. Miguich gizi manatu. So what I tried to say this morning was, kind spirit as the lead spirit, hello. Thank you for being kind to us. We ask now to look after us and all the living things around us, with us and all around us. We ask that you look after carefully the earth, our homes, and also where we are everywhere. Thank you, kind spirit. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about the eagle teaching. Uh, but before I do that, I want to just... Um, share a little story about the last week 
of my uh, life. I managed to get out to the bush once a week and spend time picking medicine in um, our garden. So um, I was reminded today and this last week when I was out that uh, I went home to my home fire and that was Little Pegwas in East Selkirk, Manitoba. So the day that we, t we decided to go out to uh, the bush, Good Friday, the water broke open and uh, for those of you that know the landscape out there, it's right along the east side of the river. So as we were out there, we uh, managed to get in through the back way and we went uh, to the lodge and all of a sudden as we got to the lodge, we, saw, we looked up and we saw lots of eagles. Through the entire day from the time I left home to the time I returned that evening, I seen 22 eagles. They were always along the water. They were um, beautiful. It, it really um, helped me to get through a troubling time. And uh, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about the eagle clan teaching as I know it. And so it's Magizi Dotem. That's the eagle clan. And the Eagle Clan is a visionary clan that is often associated with the creative arts. Uh, the Eagle uh, teaches gifts of freedom, to be able to dream big outside the box, uh, to look forward and be a visionary. Uh, there are a lot of um, people that I have been um, grateful to cross paths with are warriors and mess messengers. Uh, leadership and new ideas and seeing things in a different light that is not necessarily the norm but looking to the future are gifts of eagle medicine. So follow your, your heart, listen to your heart, listen to your dreams, have courage to do, having courage to do so will bring great confidence in yourself and to support others in following their dreams. With vision and courage, you can fly through your fears, and um, I believe this to be true. So, uh, one of the messages that I have today for the youth in our language that I saw that I would like to share is Gashkozen, Niebawin, Gidi Dowin. And what that means is to Gashkozen means to wake up, Niebawin, stand up, and then Gigo Dowin means to speak up, use your voice. And that's what we're about here at The Advocate is to be able to uh, understand that you have rights, to be able to understand and be able to help others to, to learn. And I believe that that's tied into the Eagle Clan teaching to be able to help. So uh, before I forget, I wanna talk a little bit about our drums. So the two drums that uh, I was able to get made this week and I don't know if you can really see the color but when we get together and we see I'm going to explain a little bit about the, the drum the day we got. So uh, these drums are made out of elk hide. They were soaked. Uh, this one particularly is the first one and it has a dream catcher weave on the back with a handle and uh, I'm not going to sound them today because there's protocol to be able to have a drum to be able to use them so there's um, it's in the second day of drying so it's not it's not fully ready yet but then uh, the drumstick will be made the bag and um, cover will be made and then we'll feast them so once all four drums are ready to go we'll be having that um, feasting to be able to have and then we'll be singing songs with the drums so that's the first drum and that drum was soaked in cedar, so it has a color to it that uh, is a little bit different. These drums are all created from the same hide, but I tried a different type of soak on them. The second drum that I made, I soaked this one in Labrador tea. So it's, uh, if I was to hold them up, uh, here in the studio we showed that uh, side by side and I was explaining the soaks. So this one has a little bit of a different tinge to the color. So it also has a four directional tie on it. So I'm trying to show uh, some of the different knowledge that I'm, I'm sharing with uh, our youth. So those are two of the drums that um, I brought into the studio this morning. The next thing I'd like to talk about is um, 
the skirts behind me. So this is next week's uh, teaching. We'll talk about ribbon skirts, colors, the ribbons. Each one of these skirts has different meaning. They go from newborn to young child to adult. So I'll be talking more about those next week with a video on how to make a skirt, what uh, you're looking for in terms of colors, ribbons, design, sky's the limit. So uh, to round out the teaching, I guess I will pass it along to So, um, back again. We are going to also cover the UNCRC, so that's the United Convention on the Rights of the Child, the United, sorry, the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. Um, and we have decided every week to go through one of these rights and talk about that. So the biggest thing I want to tell you, of course, is there's the 42 rights, so we have a lot to go through. Um, with the rights, we want to know the difference between a right and a want. So a right is something that you are legally entitled to, something that is for the betterment of your life. And these 42 rights are specific to youth. Um, and in Manitoba, it's very important that these, and across the world, that these rights are met. So it's very important, again, that you guys actually know about these rights. And I think that's a lot of what our role is, is letting you guys know um, what your rights are. So I'm going to uh, pass this off to Kathy Cook, my partner. Um, she's going to be speaking to right number 29 and providing some resources um, as well. Back again, today we chose right number 29, uh, which is education-based. So your education should develop your talents, respect your identity, and your language and your values. So we were looking at um, different ways that uh, we were trying to make sure that we were keeping up to date and uh, making sure that the young people and children that we work with are able to access education and supports and resources to be successful at that during this time. Um, so when we look at the different resources, we want to look outside the box um, and try and look at ways that we can maintain our education, our integrity and in learning, um, while respecting identity, values, and language. Uh, so some of the ideas that, uh, that we had talked about um, amongst ourselves and with our Youth Ambassador team was really what does that look like? So we talked about trying to access different online education portals. There are different apps if you're looking for uh, different learning apps. We talked about land-based activities, which is, this is the perfect time to get outside and do some land-based activities. Uh, Cheryl goes out to the bush every week, um, so we talked about medicine picking, planting flowers, even doing a vegetable garden or a flower garden in your own space. Um, so planting, uh, just being out outside in the land, being respectful of um, you know our great mother earth. Uh, we talked about physical education and how important that is uh, to maintain even our own self-care. So some of those physical education activities could be walks or exercising. Uh, we talked about yoga or different opportunities for young people um, to kind of make sure that they're maintaining their physical, um, their, their physical bodies along with their mental, mental health. So we talked about phys ed and the walks and the exercise. Unfortunately, most of those uh, would be done alone or, or um, you know, with your family. Uh, we talked about uh, looking at how we could uh, be creative in our homes, so um, cooking and baking, um, eating together, feasting together. Um, I'm sure that Cheryl will at some point um, in one of our online talk about the importance of feasting. Um, so eating, right? Eating, feasting, cooking together, uh, baking, um, reading. I'm, I'm a I'm a reader and I love to read and I know it can be difficult now but even reading your phones is still reading so making sure that you're trying to stay up to date on any kind of news um, or events in your communities um, making sure that you're connecting that way um, but I challenge you to pick up a book pick up a book and, and read, uh, read a book um, we talked about different um, education portals earlier so Manitoba government education portal um, we'll put up the, the link for that website. We talked a little bit about the apps. There's some really great uh, language apps out there. Uh, so in particular, there's an Ojibwe one and a Cree one, o Ogopi app, and it's free. So we'll uh, provide the links to all of those different um, resources um, in our community. 
The other thing that I wanted to just really briefly touch on, um, and I guess it's from personal experience with my own children and doing the online schooling, um, and the difficulty in trying to um, kind of maintain a schedule at home uh, while continuing to make sure that you're learning. Um, one of the things I have found with my own children is oftentimes they're afraid to reach out to their teachers and support people in school to ask for help. Uh, don't be afraid to ask for help if you're in school. Um, you know, use your, use your tools, uh, call your teachers, email your teachers, uh, make sure you're getting that support so that you are able to, um, again, just respect your education and your right to education. So I am going to now turn it over to John. John. <laughs> and then I'll be back to talk a little bit. I just want to plug the listening tour a bit, but we'll do that in my next little segment. So I'm back. Um, got a little photo just up here in the corner. Um, you can see one of our uh, advocates hard at work, and maybe that wouldn't be the advocates, so to speak, uh, sitting at the desk there. But this is one of the uh, many photos that we uh, want to share with you about the great work of our advocates uh, working from home because while the COVID-19 uh, pandemic is going on, our office is still functioning and is still open uh, to assist you. So another thing we want to make sure we do is provide our contact information. So uh, for any youth out there that is wanting some assistance or, or has any questions, um, just feel free to contact us. The phone number 1-800-263-7146. Uh, you can follow us on our Instagram, we have Facebook, we have Twitter, we have YouTube, um, so feel free to add us and follow us, subscribe to us. Uh, we'll be posting resource information as we go, um, just to assist youth, uh, again, across Manitoba. And we'll be sharing these phone numbers with you at the end of the, uh, the slide um, as well, because a lot of these phone numbers, again, even though they may not be directly educational related for our rights, which is what we were looking at today, these are very helpful resources to have uh, for all youth. So we want to keep sharing these phone numbers and these contacts so that uh, youth are getting that assistance um, and are feeling supported, not feeling alone during a time like this, because that's very important. We want to feel as connected as we can. Um, yeah, so I think that's about it for this week for myself. Uh, please tune in again next week, uh, 11 o'clock. We hopefully will be live this week. We had a little bit of technical difficulties, but uh, we'll have those smoothed out for uh, for next week so we can definitely get to your questions live. But please feel free to comment, leave questions. We will still reply to them uh, when we get the opportunity to. And we'll pass it back to Kathy. Not much uh, left to say for today other than, again, thank you. Uh, Cheryl talks about self-care quite a bit. I just want to make sure you guys are following, again, your own self-care plans, making sure that you're doing your own self-check-ins every now and again, uh, making, out, making sure you're reaching out to supports, uh, whether that be family, support people in the community, or your friends, making sure that um, really during this isolated period you're feeling like you are surrounded um, in some way, shape, or form. Uh, I wanted to just do a special shout out to healthcare providers, family service providers, uh, youth and families alike, and everyone who is staying home, socially isolating, and supporting others to do the same. Um, you know, getting that message out there is key. Um, you know how difficult it is, uh, missing space, people, uh, and again, physical proximity. So try and just be reaching out in ways that you are maintaining social distancing, but still taking care of your yourself. Um, again, John talked about the listening tour, and I just want to plug it again, so don't forget to go online to complete this survey and be entered to win the grand prize. Um, and the importance of this really is in, um, making sure that we are reaching out to young people from across Manitoba to uh, hear from them, um, and as John mentioned, just making sure that um, we are taking the voice of young people from all across Manitoba and giving you the opportunity to speak to those challenges and what would you do to change them. Um, again, the grand prize should some, be sometime in June. We'll keep you posted on that. Um, again, our right today was your education should uh, develop your talents, respect your identity, language, and values. So I will leave you with a big thank you from us to you uh, for tuning in. We hope to see you next week. And uh, thank you for all you're, you're doing out there to make sure you're staying safe and keeping our community safe. Till next week.
So lastly, I'd like to share a little bit of teaching on the Thunderbird teaching, uh, known as the Manesse Totem. It's also known as the Guardian of the Skies. The Thunderbird is a healer that, and also a bringer of light. Uh, members of this clan are known as protectors. Uh, lightning and thunder are the gifts of the Thunderbird. So um, the teaching tells us that serving others in the community being, brings great strength and character. But be honest with yourself. With truth, you can never fail. So for me, the Thunderbird teaching uh, is a great honor to understand and being able to uh, help serve in the community in various ways through uh, community initiatives, ceremony, support, uh, listening to people, and uh, yeah. So that's a little bit that I know about the Thunderbird clan teaching. Uh, so I'm going to round out the, the, um, today's lesson with uh, thank you in a, a prayer in my language. Miigwech mashumas, gakina gebo, ga ishtegen nombom, miigwech ga ijewebak, ga ije izigad, ga ije bama tadiwen. I said thank you. Thank you, Grandfather, for everything that you do for us today. Thank you for the weather. It's a beautiful day. Uh, thank you for this day, and thank you for my life. Miigwech.